Good morning, everyone. Going to start today's class. Our topic is global warming. Dear students, every day you are coming to know there is global warming. There is global warming. What it is actually? Global warming means rise in a mean global temperature that up to a level that affects the life forms on the Earth's surface. That it affects the life of all the human living beings. on the surface because of the increase in the temperature now what we discussed in previous class greenhouse effect the result of glee's greenhouse effect is leads to global warming in previous class we discussed that greenhouse gas are effective is the result of greenhouse gases that traps the heat and the atmosphere so because of those gases there is a global warming that are present in the atmosphere no doubt that greenhouse effect is important or essential for life on earth otherwise in the absence of it the temperature would have been minus 20 to minus 40 degree centigrade and it is too cold that life is not pot possible to be exist here now from last two centuries we can see that either due to the physical activities or natural natural physical activities or by the man made activities there is a creation of pollution in the atmosphere human beings are just establishing more and more industries utilizing more automobiles for their settlement they are just cutting the plants all results are results in creating a pollution in the atmosphere so among the two among the gases the greenhouse gases the two main are the carbon dioxide and methane that together makes the global warming come to know what is carbon dioxide and methane carbon dioxide is an odorless colorless gas which is acidic and non inflammable it is important as there is a cycle of carbon dioxide and oxygen between plants and human beings so uh it is used and help it should be the, its presence in the atmosphere is essential another one is methane methane we found the we find the methane under the earth surface or uh, under the sea level it is also an odorless colorless gas which is highly inflammable it is used for generating fire it is used in water heaters ovens refrigerators then cng what is used in the automobiles then liquid lpg what we use in the kitchen the gas and many more uses are there but we also know that use of x or excess of anything is harmful so we human beings are responsible for creating such gases these gases are increasing and still increasing which traps the heat in the atmosphere and which ultimately leads to the global warming the global warming is the result of increase in too much greenhouse gases what are the consequences of greenhouse gases there is a climatic change then rise in the sea level the level of the sea is increasing the result as because of high temperature is there the glaciers are melting migration of animals in search of their better place to settle damage to corals the corals that live under the sea Uh, at the depth of the ocean or the sea because of the high temperature 
the of the water become the ocean water become warmer and warmer it is difficult for them to be to survive oceans become warming storms stronger storms are there means ha because of temperature again the increasing temperature strong war storms are there changing in rain and uh, rain and snow snow pattern so these are some of the consequences uh, which are the result of greenhouse effect and global warming what steps we can take to ch or to check or to stop the global warming we have to less use of automobiles we have to avoid to go up to a short distance by using any means of conveyance so have to use less and less of automobiles control on the use of refrigerators ac electric appliances such as water heater water purifier oven etc are there not to use plastics have to avoid use of plastic as when we burn it again release the poisonous gas then <clears throat> avoid deforestation have to also adopt the afforestation afforestation have to plant more and more trees <clears throat> not to urinate in open it is another one region of the pollution <clears throat> in the atmosphere less use of electricity and water these are some of the steps that we, if we check we can just minimize, minimize the global warming up to a certain extent so this is all about the global warming what is not clear to you you can ask by writing to me till then have a good day thank you